I'm Horace Dowdy, pastor of the Oxford Presbyterian Church near Lexington, Virginia, and I am standing in front of that church right now. Each week, as part of the worship service, I present a nature lesson, which is very popular. Today, I want to talk about the Osage Orange, which has several names. It's called Osage Orange, it's called Mock Orange, Thorn Apple, Hedge Apple, and, and other names. But it is a fruit that falls about this time of year and is not favored by wildlife very much, except that squirrels and, and other animals will tear it apart and to get at the seeds, which are, are edible. In fact, the whole, the whole thing can be used as human food, but you've got to doctor it a little bit, and I, I won't give you a recipe, but because the inside is very fibrous, except for the seeds, which can be roasted and eaten for human food. But the, the, the fibrous part can also be eaten if you're, if you're hungry, and the thing that makes it a little bit distasteful is that when you break the flesh, it begins to exude a milkweed juice, a, a, a white, uh, almost latex fluid, and, and that is uh, not, not pleasant to most people. But when I looked it up on Google, you can buy these. They cost about $6 a piece, but you can, you can order them from of various states, you don't have to. In Virginia, you can just drive along the road, and sooner or later you'll see them, either in the, in the field or on the roadside. But what is remarkable about the mock orange is the wood. The, the wood is yellow-orange. When you, when, you, when you split a block of the wood, and you can, you can buy off the Internet slabs, of, very expensive slabs of that wood. Uh, it's good for making uh, tool handles, it's very tough and strong, stronger than white oak, and, and it's also very good for uh, firewood because it produces more BTUs than any other wood in America. And also, it is used, the wood is used to make musical instruments, uh, among other things. In fact, a schooner up in Maryland was made completely out of uh, Osage orange wood. Now, the Google says, it only gets 30 feet tall. That's not true. It will get 50 feet tall. I, there's one right here in the churchyard that is 50 feet tall. It has not produced the fruit this year, but the, the tree is there. And to call it thorn apple is certainly fitting because the tree is filled with little thorns that will deter almost everything. In fact, before the advent of barbed wire in 1874, Osage orange was planted as a hedge, and in a couple of years, it would hold anything, horses, cattle, even pigs, which it takes a stout fence to hold pigs, but the Osage orange will do it. So, if you want to try eating, order, get on the Google, the Internet, and, and buy some, or take a drive out in the country, and you'll find some. Osage orange or mock orange, and it's not in the orange family at all, guess what? It is a mulberry. It's in the mulberry family. So there's your lesson for today, mock orange.